everyone, my name's Allie, and thanks for joining me today for our virtual edition of our Adult Hands-On Craft, presented by the Rapid City Public Library. Before we get started today, I wanted to talk to you guys about our adult summer reading program here at the library. We have a great prog program for adults this year. Um, we are going to be giving away weekly prize baskets for people who enter and log their reading. 11 chances to win from June 1st until August 15th. All you have to do is stop by the library or go onto our website and you can download these items. You'll pick up a bookmark. These are weekly bookmarks. You're going to enter the name of the book that you're reading that week and then you'll, you're gonna put your contact information down here. Submit these bookmarks to the library either by dropping them off or sending it to any of the virtual options listed on the back by Saturday at 5 p.m. to be entered for that particular week's prize basket drawing. We also have these nifty sheets that are available for download as well or for pickup at the library that kind of tell you which week will have which gift cards so you can work a little bit harder for certain weeks if you're really looking, for example, to get a gift card to Independent Ale House or if you're really looking for a Mitzi's book card instead, we have specific weeks that you can earn those prizes. On the back of this sheet also, we have more of our adult virtual events throughout the summer, so make sure to take a look at them, again, on our website, through our drive through or you can come into the library and pick one up from any of the service desks. Well, all right, let's go ahead and get started on creating our sock gnomes today. Let's go ahead and first take a look at what is in each of our kits. In your take and make kit, you should have two socks, a bag of rice, a bag of polyfill, some craft fur for either your gnome's beard or its pigtails, depending on whether you make a boy gnome or a girl gnome, a wooden bead for your gnome's nose, a sheet of glue dots. These are permanent glue dots and they will stick anything to anything. So we don't need any additional glue. And then we have some miscellaneous doodads and decorations for your gnome as well. I included this felt so you can cut out hearts or flowers or any sort of design. And you can use those glue dots to attach it to your gnome once it is complete. We also have two pieces of twine and your instructions. Let's get started. We're going to take everything away except for one sock. So we have a single sock out now. Your first step is going to be to take your rice and we're going to put all of that rice into the bottom of your sock. So an easy way to do this is to kind of fold down the leg part of your sock and just keep rolling it on itself until you have a nice good opening like that. And something that I like to do is I like to take a piece of paper, you can take your instruction sheet and you can roll it into a funnel just like that. You can stick the funnel in there and then pour your rice in that way. That might help prevent a few spills. So you can put as little or as much rice as you want in there. The rice will act as a weight on the bottom of your sock gnome so that it will stand up. You can use it as a door prop just to make it sit up nice and straight. So now that we have the rice in there, we're gonna kind of flatten it out at the bottom because we wanna create a good base for your sock gnome to sit on. Next, we are going to take the polyfill, so we'll get it out of the bag. Now this stuff expands pretty well, so I always think it's a good idea to kind of manipulate it a little bit and pull it apart. That way it goes the extra mile. And we're going to split this in half. Half of this we're going to save for later, so go ahead and keep that on the side. This other half, we're going to, like I said, kind of make sure there's no clumps, manipulate it a little bit, pull it apart a little bit so it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to take small bits and stuff them into your sock gnome. Now we're making the sock gnome's body right now, so you can make him as 
big, him or her, as big or as small as you want. I'm going to use all of this half of the polyfill for mine because I want my sock gnome to have a nice full body. So we're just gonna keep stuffing a little bit at a time. Now one thing to note, if you have a sock that's heel is a little bit lower down, you wanna stop stuffing before the heel. Otherwise that heel is gonna make a little bit of an awkward lump in there. So just a little bit more. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna just fluff it up a little bit, give it some nice shape. I unrolled my sock and we have the body of our sock gnomes. Great. Next step, we are going to take a piece of twine. I said a rubber band in the instructions, so if you have a rubber band, you're more than welcome to use that. But I'm gonna use some twine and I'm just going to wrap it around the sock right above the polyfill and we're gonna tie it off. And we can do a double knot because this part's not going to show. And you can choose to cut off this excess or you can leave it there. All of this is going to be tucked into the sock gnome's hat. So we don't need to worry too much about this right now. Let's see if we can fluff it up, make it a little bit more even. There we go. All right, so we have the first part of our sock gnome's body done. Next, we're going to take the other sock, which will be the hat sock for your sock gnome. And we are going to, again, roll that back a little bit. Now, at this point, you can take some of this polyfill, this extra that we set aside, and you can stuff it in there if you want your gnome's hat to be stiff and to stand up a little bit. I like kind of a floppy hat look, so I'm gonna put just a little bit in here, just enough to hold a teeny bit of shape. It's really up to you how much you'd like to put in there. I think that might even be a little bit much, because I like when my sock gnome's hat droops over a little bit. All right, so we have that. Now we're going to take, again, the leg part and we're going to roll it in so that we can get a good snug fit. You can take the top part of your gnome's sock body and shove it all in there, including the twine. And I'm going to roll this down a little bit you know what? We're going to do it the opposite way. Instead of rolling it outwards, we're going to roll it inwards, and that will give it a nice brim on your hat. Okay, let's try that again. Shove that extra sock and all that twine up in there. All right. Great, so now we have the body and the hat of your sock gnome done. Pretty cute. If you wanna take that polyfill out of the top of your hat, you can do that to make it floppier. Again, it's personal preference, it's up to you. So let's move on to our next step. Now we're gonna get our craft fur out. And I'm actually not going to use craft fur today because I don't have enough for my example video and I wanted to make sure that you guys have your craft fur. So I'm going to use some felt instead. And we need some scissors. I will give you a tip. When you're cutting craft fur, you want to make sure to split the craft fur as much as possible where you're going to cut it. For example, if I were going to cut across the line right here, you want to move all of that hair out of the way because otherwise you'll end up cutting some of the hair too. So make sure that you're splitting the hairs on here as you are cutting out your 
um, your gnome's beard or its pigtails, depending on which design. And I'll show you how to do both of them. So to do the gnome's beard, we're going to cut out a beard shape. All right, so I have my beard shape. And we're going to use some of those glue dots and attach just one of them or two. I'm going to put those glue dots, one on either side of your gnome's beard. Let's see. These are really sticky. It might take a little bit of maneuvering to get them on there. All right, and now you want to attach your beard so that the edge is underneath the hat. So we want the hat to be a little bit over it. That'll make it so you can't see the seam on the beard or anything like that. So now we have our beard. If you wanted to do pigtails, you could take your craft foam and cut it in half lengthwise, or excuse me, not craft foam, because you'll be using craft fur. Cut it in half lengthwise. And then you can take some twine, the extra piece of twine, cut it in half, and we can tie little pigtails in here. And this looks really cute with the craft fur. Um, so you can tie little pigtails. With the craft fur, it'll kind of stick out like real pigtails even more so. You can do a little bow. And then these, instead of the beard here, will again be tucked underneath the hat and just hang on either side so that we have little pigtails hanging out. I'm gonna continue to make my craft gnome boy. So let's move on. Let's take another piece of glue. Again, real sticky. A little bit of manipulation is required. And we're going to attach your craft or your sock gnome's nose. So you want to put this piece of glue on one of the holes because we don't want the hole facing outward. And you can even use two if you would like. I'm sure that one will work, but I like to be safe. Okay, and right where the hat meets the beard at the very center, we're going to put, oops, I messed up right there, excuse me. We are going to put it on the flat part. You can just peel it off and put it on the flat part. Oh, my apologies. So we're going to put it right where the hat meets the beard or right where the hat meets the body if you did pigtails instead so that just that little nose is poking out and that sticks there really well with that craft um, glue dots. So we are almost done with our craft gnomes, with our sock gnomes. Last but not least is to add your decorations. So I've included a few decorations with each kit. I'm going to put a little pom-pom on the tip of my gnome's hat because I think that will be really cute. So there's that guy. And I'm gonna put some buttons on him, maybe on his hat. I know buttons usually don't go on hats, but we'll make it cute. These buttons, you just have to peel the back off and they'll stick so you don't even need to use any of your glue dots. So you can add these buttons wherever. You can use some of the jewels and you can decorate your gnome. Let's put some jewels in his beard. Maybe he's been visited by the fairies recently. Leaving sparkles everywhere. There we go. And maybe a little flower if you want to put a flower in his, in his hat. Again, you can cut out designs on the felt and stick them to him with the rest of the glue dots. But essentially, now we have our cute little sock gnomes. These can be used as doorstops, they can be used as decoration. I'm gonna put mine out in my garden because I have a gnome theme going in my garden and I think this would fit perfectly well. Well, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today as we created our sock gnomes together. I'm so happy that we were able to do this. 
Make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming virtual events for adults. We're doing things like trivia, and next month we will have a new craft for adults in Take and Make Kits that you can again register for and come pick up your kits online, follow along on our YouTube. Speaking of our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe so that you can keep, stay up to date with all of our virtual events. We have virtual story times if you have kiddos or grandkids, um, lots of adult events, lots of crafting going on, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when we upload new videos. Also be sure to be turning in your weekly bookmarks for the summer reading program so you can win some of those cool prize baskets. We hope to see your guys' names and we hope to be giving you guys some of those cool prizes. Thanks so much for tuning in today, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.